All right, first up, the third best brain anatomy app is just called Brain Anatomy. And here you can see, this is an actual picture of a human brain. So I love this app because it does show you the full human brain and a ton of different structures. Here we can see the cerebellum, that posterior inferior part of the brain, the post central gyrus, one of the mounds of the brain. And there's six different views to look at here. Here's a lateral view where you can see more of the internal structures. And there's a few buttons to choose from, but this is number three because it doesn't really allow you to move things around that well, but it does show you some cross sections of the brain. Here's some great cross sections looking from the superior view downward and you really can't beat the brain uh, itself. So this is a great app to have to see some of the real brain structures as well. But you know what? It doesn't really give you much extra info and because you can't spin the brain around, this ranks number three out of three of the brain apps. Next up though, number two, the Brain Tutor 3D. And I love this one because you can move around the brain however you would like to and manipulate the brain structures. That's one of the best ways, in my opinion, to learn the brain or any anatomy structure is to look at it from all angles. Take a look at the long list here of different structures. It's got almost everything that the brain has on it. So this is coming in at number two for a reason because it is very extensive in learning the brain. Here we can see that pre-central gyrus. It's gonna give you a little bit more information on each brain structure, which is something I really love. But it is limited in terms of the categories here. Just lobes, gyri, sulci, Rodman's areas. You've gotta pay for a little bit more, but here is why this is number two. It's gonna show you a lot of different cross sections frontal cross-section, transverse cross-section, sagittal cross-section, and this is my favorite part ever. Look at this. You can move it to absolutely every different level of the cross-section. There's no other app that I know of where you can do that. So I'm playing around with it a little bit here. And this is a really important skill for reading x-rays, MRIs, CT scans, if you're going to be a doctor or really any medical professional, you've got to know what these structures look like from these cross sections. Here I'm going up and down the brain and seeing it now from a sagittal view, which is a typical brain imaging view. So best way to learn it is to see it from all different angles. And this allows you to see it from every angle but it is a bit limited on the number of items that you can see on the brain but coming up my number one brain anatomy app is called the 3d brain and this one has it all it's got the 3d brain here that you can manipulate and move around very easily and it's got colored parts, so you can see the different lobes of the brain. But my favorite part about this is the extensive overview and information that this app gives on every structure in the brain. It also gives case studies, associated functions, disorders, what would happen if this area is damaged, and so much more, even some research as well. So. If you want to truly learn the brain, this is the app to do it. Here you can see the labels that pop up onto the screen showing you each lobe, but then you can dive deep. And here's the ventricular system of the brain, a really tough concept to teach from a textbook because it's deep in the brain, but it's still 3D. Here you can see me spinning it around, looking up, looking down. These are spaces in the brain that hold cerebral spinal fluid. And here we can see this thalamus. 
is actually a right and left thalamus. Not a lot of students know that though. Here's the temporal lobe with so many different sections within that lobe and they're all labeled here. Each one you could click on and learn more information. You will become a neuroscientist brain expert from this app. I guarantee it if you read through all those labels. But take a look here at the corpus callosum, another one that students often only see from a sagittal view. And that is that sagittal view. But here is the superior view and you can see the corpus callosum. It's more than just that middle part. It spans between the left and right hemispheres. And oh, I'm looking at the brain upside down, but that's okay because now I've got it right side up again. So this is my number one brain app because you can see everything internally and externally, manipulate the brain and even search for different brain structures like Broca's area and it will take you directly to that area. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.